I'm joined now by Robert Higgins and Paddy McGivney from Heart Media, uh, two natives of North Longford uh, like myself. Um, I've been in the headlines in, in recent years with their short film Drifting, and starring Paul Mescal, who only recently in the last week won a BAFTA award, and, and indeed that short film has played on a lot of the qualifying festivals for the BAFTA and indeed Oscar. So congratulations, lads. Um, fantastic to see two local lads um, hitting the highlights uh, like that. And I would also like to compliment you as chairman along for tourism as well for the work that you've done on the promotional videos that we've done for the county. You worked on them over, uh, I suppose, an 18 month period on and off. It was very difficult to get it done with COVID, but they were excellent quality and I think they've portrayed our county in an excellent, an, an excellent light. Um, as I said, COVID has been, has been difficult um, for all industries. How have you found it yourself for, for, for yourselves over the last 12 to 18 months? It's been, uh, yeah, it's definitely been difficult to brought a lot of uh, our projects kind of to a standstill there for a while. Um, it was quite difficult to get shooting with the protocols in place and it became quite difficult. But thankfully in the last couple of months, it's uh, it's opened up a bit, mm. and we were kind of a little bit lucky in the fact that we just shot our film prior to uh, COVID, so we were able to work on that in the post production. But even the rollout of that, I suppose, has been heavily uh, impacted by that because normally you'd be uh, you'd be out and about with the f going the festival route, meeting people, doing the networking and that, and that's all of course been gone online now. So uh, it's really uh, it's impacted a lot over the last year it has, yeah. Yeah, but it's also normalized the use of zoom so we've been able to have conversations with people that we mightn't otherwise have had the opportunity to do and um, a lot of panel discussions uh, that took place during festivals happened online and stuff so um, it, we had to kind of change our approach a little bit but um, we still feel like we haven't really missed out on, on that much thankfully and do you see and you mentioned online and zoom a, a mix of it going forward that it's here to stay with regard to your industry as well, with regard to meetings and probably gives you actually more opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like for us, we're, we're really hoping to, in the coming years, kind of get into co-production and international work as well. So with that normalised, we're hoping that'll, that'll open doors for us there where you, you don't have to have the outlay of going to these bigger festivals and such a huge outlay financially for you know a new company such of our own. So... Hopefully that will open some doors for us. Right. And over the last period, how have you found support? Has there been sufficient support for yourselves? Lack of support from government with regard to, you know, finan financially as well over the last uh, period? How have you found that? Yeah, I think in terms of the support, like with the arts, it's obviously really suffered a lot. Uh, one of the hardest hit from this pandemic. So I think there can always be more uh, done in that respect in terms of, I think the arts is just such a vital part of our cultural I identity um, in Ireland. And I think it's essential just that the, when the pup payment goes, the people are continued to be supported and there's, there's uh, avenues there for artists and stuff. Because I think it's just vital we really, um, we do support these people. We don't lose them to cheaper cities abroad. And the people who are emerging artists do have that platform to be supported through this. And the, the funding isn't the first to go and the arts isn't, as it's often suffered through times of recession, that it's maintained and yeah. kind of kept. Absolutely. And just for kind of young artists and, and people starting out, that support to those people is continued and, and, and is, is growing because, you know, that is... The, the, the period in any kind of creative's life that is the most critical, you know, getting that support when you're starting out and um, getting that positive reinforcement at an early age and having a support network around you to um, instill the confidence in you to actually, you know, make that leap and to actually, you know, embark on your creative journey. I think you know, and Minister Martin actually uh, referenced it recently, the whole thing of the living wage for people in the arts. I think in other countries, mm -hmm. um, I just recall which now, but uh, in the EU, it is there to support artists, as you say, start out on their journey mm. and be able to take that, be, go confidently into into whatever fields they, uh, they may like to go into. Absolutely, yeah. um, Just uh, your, yourself, Robert, you took part in an active 
a residency program for artists here and um, maybe might expand on that it's something we spoke to mm -hmm. one of there in the backs is there something that you'd like to see going forward here in the county how did you find yeah. that yeah absolutely i uh, took part in that last year and through to this year we got a little bit delayed with trying to get it in person but uh, it was br brilliant a brilliant program mm -hmm. i developed a new play um, I'd written and I got to workshop that with some really talented actors. Um, Liam Heslin, who's a fellow Longford man, he was who's doing great things on uh, on the national stage at the moment, and then a couple other uh, Midlands actors in Oshin Robbins and Jarlet Tivnan, and uh, it was just brilliant to have support in during that time when there was very little going on artistically in the in the country and something that was it we were able to work work on during lockdown and hopefully that's something we'll be able to to bring to the stage now and um, next year hopefully when when things have reverted to normal a little bit more but yeah it was a brilliant and uh, it was great that longford was uh, the place that initiated this because it gave huge support to a huge amount of artists so it was a really brilliant initiative and long hope to see it continue yeah i think so hopefully now um and your your goals going forward as a company, what plans are you? I don't, what plans have you in place at the minute, or our projects, and what is your long term goals? Yeah, for us, uh, we're looking to grow as a, both sides of our company, so our film and our uh, digital side as well. But later this year, we're hoping to shoot our first uh, feature film, uh, which will be set in Longford, and it's kind of a it's an exploration of. Uh, GAA culture and youth culture in the Midlands and it's just a little world we feel hasn't really been necessarily depicted on screen yet and so we're looking at shooting that in Longford towards the end of the year maybe early next year it's kind of dependent on how things go with the with Covid and that so that's kind of our primary aim on the creative side of the company and uh, we're just building out then in other terms of the digital digital between our videography and uh, digital marketing side as well yeah yeah is there any other supports that you think need to be in place to help support you as a company going forward that you, you for, feel could be put in place here in Longford? for us we'd love to see something uh, created in the midlands similar to what there is in the west of ireland at the moment which is the rap fund which is a grouping of all the many of the local authorities there which have uh, a film development fund there and it's it's working brilliantly for bringing in a lot of international uh, productions and stuff we've got a brilliant tax break at the moment with the section 481 here that's available for films and i think if we brought this in to the midlands through a grouping of a lot of the counties there's huge opportunity to bring major uh, productions here and really benefit the economy and, uh, and the artistic landscape here so I'd love to see a coming together of some of the Midlands uh, counties and working towards achieving that. Yeah and some of the feedback we've received um, from our work today there's just the uniqueness of the landscapes and the stories of the characters and um, like one of our main motivations and drivers for setting up Harp was that we felt that Longford in the Midlands in general were just underrepresented on screen, both in kind of terms of creative work, but also corporate videography. So, um, yeah, we just feel that you know we have a really unique um, area here that is just waiting to be kind of showcased. And I think the, the initiative Robert mentioned, or potential initiative Robert mentioned, will be a fantastic avenue to to begin to uh, showcase it. You know. Yeah, and I fully agree that we have a unique and beautiful county, and I think, as I said, reference earlier on. The videos that you've done for the county tourism committee, I think, showcase that excellently over the four seasons. And I would hope that, I think, post COVID, I think Longford people have got to know our own county and realise what what we have and the uniqueness and the beauty of, of the county we have. Uh, I want to thank you both uh, for taking your time, and as I say, I want to to wish you well. And uh, as I, say, I look forward to seeing um, your future productions um, on stage. Uh, and, and on TV and it's something I will take on board myself the, the proposals that, that you've made there and my view on Longford is why not why not why can we not have these things here that there are Absolutely. in other areas so Absolutely. thanks very much Robert thanks, thanks very much thank you very thank much you. Bye -bye. cheers